Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another installment of Art Fennell Reports. I'm Art Fennell. Tonight, we go into the world of high fashion photography, the glitz and glamour of lights, camera, and makeup. Images of models that are designed to inspire and to sell. But someone has to be able to take those photos. Someone has to capture that magic. Welcome to the eye of M. M as in Mosley in this case, James Mosley. He's a Philadelphia-based photographer whose images are seen on book covers, magazines, and billboards all over the world. Check this out. It was a sunny day. I was feeling good. And the radio played in the neighborhood. What you Now, James Mosley took many of the still images that you just saw in that video clip, and he's joining me now in the studio to take us into the eye of M, because you see, beauty in this case is in the eye of the man beholding the camera. James Mosley, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good to see you, yeah, as always. You know I'm a big fan of your work and of good photography, and when you go into this world of high fashion photography and, and, and magazines and so forth, you know, we all pick up the magazines and we thumb through the pages, love looking at the pictures, but that's work for you. How did you get into that initially? Oh, uh, well, it's a story of, uh, it's funny, that story is a hobby. 13 years old, right? Uh, actually, it goes back one year before. Uh, I, I, got a, I got an electric guitar, 12th birthday, and uh, I thought it was a rock star. Six months later, I can't play this thing. <laughs> so, you know, I've always been the one who's never in pictures in the, in the family uh, uh, album, but I was there because I was behind the scenes taking the photographs. So I said, Mom, you know, I want a camera, a real camera for my birthday. So she got me one. She got me a camera, a pawn shop camera, actually. The thing cost $200. Mm -hmm. um, the guy said it may last six months. Uh -huh. It lasts it lasts like ten years before it actually broke down. Really? Uh, I started my hobby then. I got a dark room. I was excited about the first time that image floated out of the water. You know, you get the chemistry and you do the black and white thing and it just pops up and I was hooked. And then you developed a, a technique and a style for it and, and, and everything. And everyone has different genres of photography that they follow. Yours uh, happen to be um, models and, and, and commercial images and so forth and so on. But uh, I said this at the onset. Pictures you have taken have been published in all over the world. You're in what, 32 countries your, your images have been published in? Yeah, a little over 32 countries around the world. 32 countries around the world. We're talking magazines, book covers. How many book covers do you uh, have you done? Uh, countless book covers, actually. I have a solid 30 or so here in America that I know of. And 30 I, or so book covers of your just, images? Just, just book covers, yeah, just book covers. Uh, um, and then there are some in foreign countries I've traced down, but I haven't been able to purchase them yet, but there are some in foreign countries. Yeah, well. um, we were in your studio uh, watching you work um, just the, uh, the other day, and I had an opportunity to go inside your world, the mm. world of, uh, the world of uh, Mosley uh, photography. Uh, you're in Philadelphia, you have a, a loft studio, and you bring these models in. Now, when you bring models in, we'll begin to show some of this video now, but as you bring these models in to your, into your studio, space. What are you thinking? What's, what's your thought process as to the type of product you hope to try and uh, get from that? Well, of course, I'm critiquing the model. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at her strengths, you know, um, and I, I, I build on the strengths. I, I utilize those to help the model perform at her optimum abilities. Um, I critique everyone. I have come, come in, I do a no makeup, no hair done kind of thing and get that raw image first. So you're creating this. She didn't come in dressed like this. You said, look, this is the look I want. You're speaking with uh, one of your models and one of your uh, makeup uh, consultants here. Right. And you tell them the look you're going for and they create it for exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. It's all, it's all, you grab some of this, you grab some of that, and you, you pull together this amazing uh, uh, image uh, together from makeup, from styling, from hair, 
uh, and then you have you know, props and lighting so are key. Mm -hmm. And we're again, we're watching your, your studio space here. And in your studio, you have a, a wide eclectic range of props and, and, and vest, various accessories and so forth. That's all to create the look, isn't it? That's essential. That's essential. You, you got to have the t you gotta have two, you gotta have spice. Cause I'm, you know, I'm, I want energy and I want spice. You know, you're gonna make something plain, or you're gonna make something really, really tasty for people. So let's take a look at a couple of the images. We just saw the video shoot there. Right. I wanna show a couple of the, the images that you were able to get from that um, studio shot. Cause I was there, we were watching you work and you are in complete control with these <laughs> models. You're moving them as you want them because you know what you're looking for. Right. Uh, here is um, uh, one of the images. Now you just took this image and, and again, uh, what was your thinking here? Well, again, it's, it's all about where she is. You know, she's on the sofa. She has this, this, this cute dress on and glasses and so forth. So again, I want to project, you know, class here. I want to project that she's ritzy, you know, and that's important. Again, with the lighting, the, the broad lighting I use for the particular shot. So again, my models know that I always want energy. It has to be big energy. That's important. Mm -hmm. So whatever we do, it's going to be big energy. Let's go to the next image and take a look at this next image from the uh, shoot that we were just seeing. This is the same model, right. completely different outfit and a completely different look. Right, right. And Solo knows. Solo is, will give me... Solo is the name of the model. Exactly. That's her name, Solo. She, she knows, especially people who work with me closely, like Solo, she knows that's important. I may not be audible. You may not be hearing me across the studio, but you need to be able to follow me my, my that relationship is, is critical, it's isn't important. it? The working relationship, the, the camaraderie between the model and the photographer. It's very important. It's very important. She knows that it's all about big energy. It's all about big energy. It's all about, you know, I'll give you cues about what I want you to do, head up, left, right. Let's go to this next uh, uh, image here. And uh, this is uh, the other model, um, uh, Piazza. That's Piazza. Piazza's a star. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's definitely the one. And this model, by the way, that you were working with, just her face alone has been published how widely? Oh, wow. She is everywhere. She is. She has a solid, in America, 12 book cover. She's on magazine cover. She has editorials in magazines, Essence magazine. She's she's everywhere. She's on TV. She's always somewhere different. Right, right. Again, same model. Right. Completely different completely look. Different. Complete, and this is the energy you were talking right, this about. Right, this is the energy. This is the energy because she understands. She understands the beginning. She, she's worked with me for five years or so, six, six years, six years, and she un totally understands the kind of energy that, that we want. Let's uh, let's go through. I, I know that you have uh, there there are various categories of photography that you produce because you'll bring these models in, but you know if you're doing a magazine shoot right. or something like that, that there's certain things. One category is beauty, right. um, where you're just shooting images of, of just what would classify as beauty. And we're going to take a look at some of these images now um, um, that, that you have produced. And you're, again, as you watch these, you're creating the, the whole mystique here, the leaf, the flower, the hair, and so right. forth. Again, uh, I want an image, beautiful but something that's going to be able to sell. So therefore, since my stuff is commercial editorial, it has to have value to a potential client to say this can, this can also sell my client, rip to my, my product. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, this is very creative work that we're yeah, looking with at the, here. With the All in the here. This is a yeah. gorgeous again, shot again, right here. Just taking the elements and, 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 and supercharging them. And they look like they just popped off the cover of a magazine yeah. or, you know, or something of that nature. <laughs> and again, the lighting and so forth uh, is, 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 is just yeah. right here. Here and here. Now this is uh, unusual. <laughs> what were you thinking here with the uh, with the the deep color, with the eye shadow, the uh, with the lips? And oh, by the way, there's a crab on her face. <laughs> That's really funny because, actually, when she was in makeup and the makeup artist was doing her makeup for me and so forth, I left the studio. I left. I took a walk. No one knew it was on my mind. I took a walk to the supermarket. I came back and I, I, I purchased a crab when I was there. And on the way back, like, you know, I thought, okay, this is what we're going to do with this crab. I walked out, I saw what I wanted, came back, and a crab. And then boom. And said, here, give me these colors. Give me the blues, the oranges. The colors of the crab. And, and they didn't even know the crab was going to occur until the makeup was done and I came across the studio with the it's crab. It's that type of creativity that really makes the difference. And again, all of that was in the beauty category. Let's look at some of your editorial and commercial work as well. Um, because again, you, you know, you're trying to sell. Right. Pictures are designed to sell images right. um, and to create a mystique and so forth. And so are you thinking particular products when you're shooting certain things or what's in your mind uh, when you have these models in the studio? You know, with my mind, actually I'm having fun. 
and that's it, it's it's a creative process that's always with me but i'm having fun you know the, the models inspire certain types of images in my head. This is one of your book covers here we're looking That's at. That's a magazine cover. A magazine <laughs> cover and one of your shots. Yeah. Highly creative. Right. Uh, this one was uh, was, was published in where is this China? That's in China. That's in China. Yeah. Another one of your shots and, and, and images uh, yeah. and, and, and you, you see these. This is a book cover um, with the, 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 the various shading and so forth. Uh, I'm trying to, for, for aspiring photographers out there, and there are a lot of us, you're trying to sell an image. And in this particular image, this is for water. Right. Um, you don't even see the model's face, but she's got the product placement there, and it's all right. about selling that product, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly, exactly. When this particular image that we, that we got, and that's Nestle's water, that's awesome, um, I shot it just the way you see it. They didn't recrop it, they didn't re edit, they didn't do anything to it, they just added their symbol to the bottle. But again, I'm thinking in terms of, okay, fine, there's a lot out there, there's a lot of information out there, but you have to take it in, you have to store it somewhere and, and be aware of what advertising is actually doing and be a part of that to make it happen for yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't be, oh, you know, I'm gonna just make it work. What's working already? And the models understand that it's not a photograph of the model, it's it's all about the it's product. It's a statement, it's a statement. It's a statement right. that you're, that right. you're making. Exactly. Of course, there is the fashion category. I mean, <laughs> that mm -hmm. encompasses so much right. uh, from the runway to the uh, pages of a glamour magazine yes. and so forth. And, and uh, here are some of your fashion uh, images here and um, are two models here. And this is in your studio. And uh, right. what were you going for here? People love fashion. And fashion generally is an editorial story. People love the story of fashion. So you got to be somewhere. You want to look great. You got the environment. You create a mood. That's what fashion is all about, creating a mood. And that people buy based on this dramatic mood that we create with, uh, with the fashion image. Mm -hmm. And so you have your models. You tell them what you want. I want you to just come into the door yeah, with I had attitude. To, I had my other, right. I had to go through the door a few times, burst back out. And that, that raw energy is like, well, that's what I want. I want this dramatic moment. And people uh, relate to the drama. Uh -huh. This is a portrait of a picture outside. Exactly. Um, and when you're outside, you have this is not controlled lighting not controlled because lighting. the elements are what they are. They change constantly. Um, and what was happening here? This was uh, Albany Airport. This is really, this is fun. Uh, it, uh, it was a storm that had passed by. Um, the, the conditions were very, very uh, <laughs> difficult to deal with, but the model know. If it's if it's rain, rainy, windy, dark, cold, we go out and we shoot. That was right. That was a fun image. That was fun. And, and again, this is having fun in the studio. In the front for do fashion. Do you know if this particular image was ever picked up by any book or magazine? That's or anything? a new image. That's going to be available next year, actually. That's a new image that's out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 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 you could see that as I look at that, you created it, but I can see that in the magazine somewhere. Right. It just looks like it belongs yeah. there, and that's what you're thinking uh, uh, the whole time. Uh, I'm I'm fortunate that people uh, really really embrace the work. I do the work, I create it in my head, and I put it, like, I'm an artist. That's just my foundation. I'm, I was painted for many years. And uh, I continue to do that with my photography, and people just embrace it, so that's fortunate for me. Um, you, know, you know, again, there are a lot of um, uh, people who are photographers who take good images, or aspiring photographers who want to take better images. Um, they may be aspiring to take uh, model photography, like, like you have been able to master so well. Uh, there are a lot of models out there who want their images um, to be the one right. that's selected for the next shoot or something of that nature. What do you say to them in terms of uh, honing their own crafts, either on front of the camera or behind it, just to be in position to be where you want to get to? Open up. Open up and uh, um, educate yourself. Educate yourself to the industry. You know, what the trends are, uh, past, present and that's going to dictate the future um, because it's a it's a business and exactly. and, and again uh, this is not the type of business that looks for mediocrity they're looking for the shot they're looking for the person who can get the right shot um, you're there did you ever think you'd, you you'd be at the position you're in now and I know you're always thinking of evolving even more but did you ever think that? the art yes uh, the position no that just Create. You, it's, you have to create. You have to just go ahead and do what you love doing, and that these things occur for you. But you really have to just get into your stream of creativity. That's yeah. what's most important. Yeah, and 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 again, uh, you 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 have a knack. When I was watching you work with these models, these models were, were they're like your muse. They are there to give you what you need for this shot, and that's a lot of weight and responsibility. You have to know what you want. That's correct. You definitely know what you want. You can't mess around. You gotta be 
point it and say, this is, this is what I need now. But that's relationship. And they understand, okay, fine. They're taking direction from me all the time. So they know that if they follow me, we're going to have a good shoot. Okay. Well, he is uh, James Mosley. Everyone calls you Mosley. Yeah. Uh, it's Mosley Photography. Mm. Um, you know, it, you're, you're, you have this loft space mm. in, in Philadelphia. By the way, and we saw this in the video uh, yeah. earlier, was it, how important was it to be able to find the just right space? This is not some corporate office somewhere that looks corporate. It looks like it's a creative space where you need to be for these types of images. Uh, that was lucky. <laughs> for that part, yeah. For that part, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've had smaller areas to work in, but uh, as you grow, yeah, you want to have more creative space, and that just frees you up to just be to go and do your thing. All right. Uh, James Mosley, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank we appreciate you. your work. Love what you so do. Much. Best of luck uh, and continued uh, success uh, with your images and your crafts. Thank you so much. Now, when AFR comes right back, get ready for a South Pacific Islands adventure. We'll stow away on a cargo ship as it cruises through French Polynesia. You're watching Art Fennell Reports on the Comcast Network. <laughs>